Hello my friends. In today's video, we're gonna go over how I feed my coral and why you may wanna consider feeding your coral. Real quickly before we get started, if you're new to this channel, this is a channel all about reefing, predominantly about my SPS dominant display tank. However, I do have a lot of LPS and zoanthids as well. If you're really into reefing or really into coral, please consider subscribing as it would really help me out and it wouldn't cost you a thing. And please hit that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. So here's the stuff that I feed my coral. The first ingredient is reefroids. So this is Polyp Lab reefroids. And the thing I really like about reefroids is that it's made up of uniform particles. And what that means is when I'm feeding with this Kent Marine Squirt or any, if you use any type of pipette or anything, I've tried other foods where the particles are not uniform. And what that ends up doing is that it just ends up creating like a, a big jam right at the end there. So you squeeze it really hard and then a ton of food comes out. And that's not what you want. So I've never had that issue with reefroids and that's one of the reasons I really like it. These two are foods I've recently acquired, maybe in the last few months. I don't use it very often, and in fact, I don't feed my coral that often. But I've got oyster feast here, and it's supposed to be really nice particle sizes. And I'm trying this out, Brightwell Aquatics Microvore. So I'm gonna show you guys how I, I prep the food. So I've just got, this is just an empty cup. There's a bit of water there, a bit of tank water. So I don't measure anything when I'm mixing up this food. And I'm following, the way I use reefroids is the way Billy Pipes um, teaches us to use reefroids in one of his videos. So I'm just taking some, it depends on how much you're gonna use. In this case, all I'm doing is feeding the acans and the bowers. So I'm not gonna, put too much. And the other thing I've read about reefroids that people complain about is that it really does elevate your phosphates. So you want to be careful when you're feeding these types of foods. So as you can see, there's the reefroids. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze in some oyster feast and some microvar, and that's going to and I'm gonna probably put in a bit more tank water just to dilute it a little bit. Yeah, what Billy Pipes teaches in how to use reefroids the right way is that, I'm just gonna shake this first. Is that when he's feeding his LPS, he likes to make a thick slurry. When it's mixed up, you want a consistency, something like this. And the way you can tell it's thick enough is when you go and use a pipette or some other type of instrument to feed, what it should look like is you're putting some type of semi-solid type of food onto the coral. So why might you want to consider feeding your coral? First of all, why do coral eat? Coral are very unique animals and like all animals, they need energy and a lot of coral have two ways of obtaining that energy. The first one, they can do so with sunlight and the zooxanthellae, that's a special type of algae that's actually residing in, inside them. And those produce the energy which the coral will use to, to grow and to um, perform its biological functions. And the second one is by consuming foods. So whether that is actually catching copepods or other small organisms that reside in your tanks, or by eating specialized coral foods like the ones I just shown you that I feed. Although I'm only showing you the target feeding of LPS, SPS can also eat. If you look closely at any type of SPS, and especially like Montipora, those polyps that you see those can actually grab microparticles, pull them into the skeleton, and there the food will get digested and processed and produce energy for the SPS. So LPS, SPS, and even some zoanthids, 
will consume foods. And one of the reasons you may want to consider feeding your coral is that it can help them grow faster. In the case with LPS, you do not want to feed them too often. The recommended guidelines is two times a week. I typically feed my coral, I try to feed once a week. However, sometimes I miss a week. So it can be once every two weeks or even three weeks. Now, don't get confused. Do not run out and buy food and immediately try target feeding your coral or um, broadcast feeding for your coral. You do not need to feed your coral. As long as you have fish in your tanks and you're feeding the fish, the coral are getting food. And besides the fish food and stuff, like I mentioned earlier, copepods, there are a lot of microorganisms or smaller organisms in your tank that if these coral polyps, if their tentacles can grab them, they're probably eating throughout the night. If you watched this far and you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Again, it really helps me out and I'm gonna thank you in advance. And as always, thank you for watching my friends. Take care and I will see you next time.